what's up guys thanks for tuning into my channel so this is going to be a full moon reading for this full moon um it says that it's on my app right it says that the full moon is today but everything else is saying that it's tomorrow so like um, i've seen posts that say it's the, t the 10th or whatever so i don't know to be honest but um it could be both days i guess depending on where you're at but i'm just gonna put this reading out today because um last night the moon looked like it was like 90 95 percent full so i'm feeling like today is the full moon but anyways yeah that's how i feel but if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit the bell button so you know when i do post my content and yeah feel free to follow me on social media and all that wonderful jazz what's up golden tribe golden tribe thank you for tuning in okay so i'm gonna do a nine card spread and then i'm going to pull um a clarifier from the oracle of shadows and light so let's get it first card out we have the five of pentacles and i apologize for the color it's dark outside and it's about to rain so yeah four of wands three of pentacles i really felt like the three pentacles wanted to come out i don't know why i envisioned the three of pentacles before i started doing this reading so um i don't know if i want to like read this energy first and then move on i think that's what i'm gonna do okay so we have the five of pentacles we have the four of wands and we have the three of pentacles so for some of you guys um if it's past present future take what resonates right um there could have been a situation to where you might have been homeless or asked out or you lost a lot of money you were not able to pay for your bills you were not able to pay for your home um or somebody was not helping you pay for a home um helping around the house you felt like you were alone in this you felt like you were the one carrying all the weight and um i feel like there was somebody not helping you here there must have, I feel like there might have been somebody not helping you here. I feel like for some of you guys, you guys lost a lot of money because you were doing it yourself. You were doing it alone. I'm getting an energy of like doing it alone. Having somebody to work with you, but them not actually working with you. I'm definitely getting like a love home situation. It could be any type of love. Uh, platonic friendship relationship family any type of love but it's somebody that i feel like some of you guys had um a connection with had a home with loved or love i'm getting home some of you guys could have had a kid with this person and they just were not helping out who knows what they could have been doing but you felt alone while they were out doing whatever, you were in the house, you know, keeping it together. For others of you, I feel like this is not, this is, this is going to end. Or you're putting a stop to this. For others of you, I feel like this is the past. This has, this has already happened. And now it's like you're able to, for some of you guys, you might have manifested somebody that works well with you. Um, and if you have any fears about them, like, doing the same thing to you again, they're not going to do that again because you guys work very well together. Okay? You guys were meant to work together and build an empire. All right? So, let's keep going. We have the King of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. I see. I see. I don't. I don't know. 
I see offers, offers being made, things being presented to you. And I want to say that they are emotionally fulfilling and also there's something that will help ground and stabilize you. Um, mm. With the King of Swords, it's like you already know what you are good at, you know what you want, you know what you deserve. King of Swords. Hmm. This is like communication also. Somebody could be communicating to you about something, some type of opportunity. I because the thing is both of the like we have the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles like knight of pentacles and knight of cups back to back knight of pentacles is in the middle of your whole reading so i feel like there is there will be an offer made to you but it's up to you if you want to take this offer um i think it depends on if it's emotionally fulfilling or not and if it will help to stabilize you You're very focused. I feel like a lot of you guys are very focused. Anything that seems like bullshit, you're cutting it out. I feel like if anybody tries to play you, um, if anybody tries to give you a shitty offer, you're like, no. You're on your throne. You already know what's up. I, I'm getting crown chakra from this as well. It's like you already know i don't know why i keep getting that you already know you already know communication this is information coming in either you're giving this information or somebody's giving this information to you um to be a leader this is like a leader this might even be a leadership role some of you guys might be taking a leadership role Somebody might be offering you a leadership role, maybe of a smaller thing, or you could be a leader of something um, that is um, very profitable, something that is emotionally fulfilling for you. And people could be offering you things like money and whatnot, and this is, you know, this is keeping you stable, this is emotionally fulfilling, all that stuff. It'll keep you out the cold. Um, you're working well with people. I'm seeing a lot of things. I'm seeing that you, some of you guys are actually working very well with the people that are around you. Um, communication is pretty good. Uh, you're able to be stable. Okay, let's keep going. We have the tower. Okay. We have the nine of wands. And we have the lovers. I was gonna, bro, before I did this reading, I was like, I will laugh if the lovers card popped up because the moon, I'm gonna, in fact, I'm going to insert a clip before, or maybe, maybe in the middle of this, of where the moon is. Because last night I checked on my star app and the moon was just exiting the moon was just exiting Taurus this is Gemini one air sign air air what I'm getting from this is that a decision needs to be made a decision needs to be made about who it is what it is that you want 
I'm getting love again. I'm getting love, guys. And it's I, I didn't even want this to be a love reading. But this is, um, I'm just seeing a lot of love because of the Four of Wands. And we have the Lovers card here. We got some Cups, Three of Pentacles. There was a blockage. There was an emotional block, I want to say. Um, maybe even a spiritual block. But whatever this is, um, this tower for you guys is either caused by, like, you understanding that you don't deserve, like, small, shitty offers. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys don't deserve a tiny-ass offer. You don't... I feel like a lot of you guys have blocked yourselves off. There was a spiritual block. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it was blocking you guys from attaining true love and um, attaining a love for life, a zest for life, and getting also a lust for life. Some of you guys might have lost um, a lot of like zest for life and wanting to like be in this world and like have fun and be happy um because of like a past experience that might have left you feeling extremely depleted and alone and sad there was a block guys there was a spiritual block but this block has come down or is coming down. if it hasn't came down yet it will come down Because I see, a, like, it's like a pathway opening. You know what I'm saying? It's like you released that block. It was that hurt. There is some type of pain that you're still carrying. Mental energy still up in your mind. Some of y'all still thinking about it. You're like, okay, well, I remember this happened this way. I'm not trying to do this again. You know what I'm saying? But for a lot of you guys, there, if you have already left that situation, you've already learned the lesson. There's a lesson to be learned. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't learned that lesson, then I feel like, you know. Hold on, let me check the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's confusion. You guys are not going to go back to this cycle because I don't see, um, like, the world or anything like that or uh, some type of karmic thing. I don't see any karmic energy here. Um, the only karmic energy, karmic energy that I see is the tower but it's because it was meant to happen. Something is meant to come down. Something was built on faulty foundations. Something wasn't built sturdy. There was a lot of blocks in whatever was being built. It was like blockage after blockage after blockage. And I feel like something never really truly was complete. And so it had to come to an end because it was not meant to be completed. <clears throat> and now here we are with the yin and the yang. The balance of the feminine, the feminine and the masculine. This is a balance. Some of you guys are balancing your feminine and masculine energies in order to come into this like... Uh, this abundance i feel like there's like an abundance there's there's an opportunity or something like that but it's like you guys have to make a choice once again making choices with the gemini card and the two of swords once once again i i kid you not like when i say the things that i say like i literally mean them. like it's it's so intense to me because it's like the the universe is literally showing me and it's like allowing me to show the rest of you guys oh my gosh and under that is the six of flames so this is victory victory over whatever this like lower vibrational energy was or is so you guys at the end of the day everything is going to be fine as long as you you know you gotta think i feel like a lot of us are in this air energy this mental energy and some of us you know we really do need to ground ourselves after we come to these realizations of what is real and what is not 
what works and what does not and whatever doesn't work let it fall off to the wayside you feel me um don't block yourself don't block your blessings because i feel like a lot of us have um been blocked because of said situations whatever situation you guys went through and now it's time to actually really love and be loved you feel me um so yeah let's see what the oracle of shadows and light has to say i like you guys deserve this happy home happy family it's um i see flame twin flame 11 11 i've been seeing 11 11 a lot There, there might be a lot of twin flame connections um, coming together, divinely divinely connected um, beings, uh, significant, significant others, of course, significant others, but, you know, divine partners. I see a lot of divine partners coming together, um, people making offers, and if it's not of your highest good, if it's not divine... I feel like a lot of you guys are cutting it out. And if you don't cut it out, the universe is going to cut it out for you. By causing a tower moment. There's a lot of blocks. Uh, man, this has a lot to do with love. <laughs> oh, God, this is so intense. Yeah, you guys. At the end of the day, like, I feel like there's nothing to fear. Like, I feel like there's a lot of fear right now going on. Like, of... Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's next. What the fuck is going to happen? You know what I'm saying? But this Gemini energy here is helping to, you know, bring clarity on what your next steps should be. So keep an eye out because I feel like a lot of you guys will be receiving messages either intuitively, um, through dreams, through word of mouth tarot readings through just you know even just uh hearing somebody talk or a general conversation something but yeah i also feel like for some of you guys there was a tower moment that caused a huge blockage for you guys in ma in love and manifesting love real true love and that block is um being lifted now there's a block that is being lifted now. Um, go back to childhood is also what I'm getting. There might be a block from the past. But anyways, let's see. You have ghosts of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessings, card number one. Let's see. So I'm going to read the divination message. It says, something precious is all about you, but it has become so familiar, you can barely see it anymore. It's such a fixture in your life that familiarity has bred, if not contempt, a kind of blindness. Oh my goodness. A kind of blindness. Two of swords. Right? Not knowing your left from your right. The beautiful little girl ghost in the pumpkin patch asks you very gently to see the abundance all around you and to appreciate that while you are in physical form, there's so much you can enjoy. She wishes for you to harvest what's yours now and to take steps to call in any debts. Uh, it says there can be outstanding money issues associated with this card and share the bounty. Do not let anyone cheat you. And... <laughs> Know that you don't own a single thing in truth. It'll all pass through your hands. But still, ironically, these things have you have earned through your hard work are worth protecting. They're not too small. They're not too ordinary. You have more material wealth than you think. Than you think. So please do count your blessings every day. Okay. I feel like I should pull more. But right now, what I'm getting from this card... 
is that you guys are very blessed. You guys are protected. Um, there might have been a situation that made you guys, like I said, it might, may, might have made you feel like you lost like a zest for life. Um, some of you might have felt a little bit jaded. Uh, content. It's talking about being content. Contempt. Not content, but contemptment. Like, like the Four of Cups. Like being bored with life. I feel like a lot of you guys have become bored with life. Or you guys were bored with life. And you were not able to see all the blessings that were around you. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you were very focused on, you know protecting yourself and keeping lower vibrational energies away from you and you know i don't know just trying to be stable keep yourself protected and with that i feel like you guys like i said there was like a loss for some of you guys you did you guys did lose a lot like we literally said with the five of pentacles I feel like, and it, that's literally what this card is talking about, because it's talking about the losses that you guys might have had. So some of you guys might have lost a home. You know what I'm saying? You might have lost a home, might have lost um, money to pay for a home. It's talking about debts, like... What I'm getting from this is... Whatever that you guys lost, you will got you guys will gain back tenfold. But you have to be you have to choose. Do you want to go backwards or forwards? Because if you go backwards, I feel like you're just going to continue this cycle. And I'm not gonna pull another card because I have ten out here, and that's ten is a cycle. Ten is the end of, of a cycle. One, right? Ten reduces down to one. So we're good. We're good. That's all I really needed to know. I feel like you guys need to know how blessed you are that you still have your lives you know what I'm saying you're still breathing you some of you guys I feel like y'all still have money you know what I'm saying y'all still have money coming in you know some of you guys might even have a new love and it's showing to be appreciative of what you guys have now because I feel like a lot of you guys have gone over a hump gotten over a hump um yeah you guys have gotten over a hump and if you guys haven't yet, you will. Here with the Six of Wands. And then boom. The full moon wants to come out. So, what's up? What is up? So, that's all I have for you guys today. All I'm getting is to... Um, damn, appreciate yourself. Because you have created so much. You are a master. Master. Oh my gosh. Master. You guys are a master. So appreciate yourself. You guys can create abundance again. Even if it's by yourself. You guys can do it again because the universe got your back. But you got to have your back. You feel me? You got to watch out for you. Make sure that you're doing good. Don't leave yourself out in the cold. Make sure you're balanced always. I feel like a lot of you guys are changing your mind about something or someone. Or like the thoughts that you have about someone. It's like never again. Like I feel an energy of never fucking again. Like fuck that shit. No thank you. Like I am good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Th some things are worth protecting. I get that it is you it's good to protect yourself for some of you guys, yes. Like, oh my gosh, this is this card is literally saying everything that I pulled out. Yeah, you guys have more material wealth than you think. This is in the middle of your whole reading. Material wealth. So I also feel like there will be an opportunity coming for you guys that is emotionally fulfilling. Okay? So I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys have a wonderful full moon. Um, what's today? The ninth? Shoo. I pulled nine tarot cards plus one is ten. So either today or tomorrow or the energy is going to go on today, tomorrow, and the next day. But whatever, guys. Um, 
Dang, I feel like there was something else that I will. Oh, yeah. One more thing. To help you guys in this energy, there is something that I had learned from a video. And I don't remember the man that it is. If you guys know who I'm talking about, um, tag his video down below. If not, I'll just find it and um, tag it down below. But it's like pressure points, right? And like assigning a pressure point, um, assigning each pressure point or each finger um, like a, a, almost like a mantra. So your index finger will be health. So rub it and say health. I am healthy or something like that. Wealth. Your middle finger is wealth. Rub it. I am wealthy. Health, wealth. Ring finger, love, right? Rubbers. <laughs> I am love, I deserve love, and gratitude, gratitude. I am grateful for everything that I have, everyone in my life, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just just rubbing on those pressure points and do it as many times as you want to, whatever. Trust and believe me, this has worked for me, and I feel a million times better. Like, I'm just saying. But anyways, I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later.